Hey you guys. Um, well I just wanted to make a really quick video about middle school. Um, I remember when I was in sixth grade and I was first coming in, I was a nervous wreck, but then I discovered how much fun it was. And next year I'll be a freshman, but I just wanted to give you incoming sixth graders, or depending on where you live, it may vary, but you incoming middle schoolers, um, how to survive middle school. And my first advice to you is to, I made a little list, um, is to find a good group of trustworthy friends because normally your friends will change from elementary to junior high school. Some of them will stay the same, but some of the times you don't become friends with them anymore. You just kind of lose touch. And it's weird, but it's part of life. And middle school is a really good time where you really find out who you are and you mature a lot really rapidly during middle school. I, wow, I remember how I was in sixth grade. I was much different than I am now. And I'm glad for it. So, yeah, keep a good, close-knit group of friends and that'll help you pass the time and get through middle school. Also, I know you probably hear this a lot, but keep your locker clean. It really helps to cut down your passing period, um, commute to get to different classes. You, um, keep your locker organized by subject, like have one subject, then another subject, and another subject, like all together, like all the supplies you need next to each other, so you just grab and you can go. Especially if you have classes far away from each other. Um, also plan out before school starts when you will stop at your locker and to get your supplies, because that usually takes about 30 seconds or so, depending on what it is, to get your supplies, maybe even less. But at our school we had four minute passing periods, so try to find like good times to grab certain supplies. Like let's say you have math first hour, and that's at the other end of the school to where your PE is, like your gym class. So, and let's say after gym you have other class on the end of the hallway. It's going to be hard to go from gym to go back to your locker to get your stuff for those other classes. So bring all those stuff to gym so that you don't have to go back and stop because that could risk being late to class. Also, color code your supplies. Like, let's say you want social studies to be green and other classes to be, another class to be purple or something. Keep all your supplies the same color for each class so that you can avoid mixing up your notebooks so your binders or anything like that because I've had experiences where I have grabbed the wrong supplies going into a classroom and it is very awkward so um also identify the personality of your teacher um each teacher is kind of different in how they do things and how strict they are so you want to definitely identify how your teacher acts and organizes things let you know how you should act in that class. I mean, I'm not saying, like, if you have a, a teacher who isn't very strict to act bad. I'm just saying, you know, know when it's okay to do certain things. And before you leave school, double check what you need. Um, like, run through your head all your homework and um, grab all those and um, make sure you, um, I know I'm saying a lot of ums, but you definitely want to plan out certain times when you're going to do certain assignments so you're not like suddenly, um, I don't know, um, um, that's how I'm trying to see how you can put it. So that you don't run into the issue where you're staying up very late during the night trying to get through um, homework. So make sure that you know what times you're going to do certain assignments, how long an assignment will be. Um, plan that out during the school day, like in your free time. Like, Mark, okay, this one I'll do this, this one I'll do this. I have um, an after school activity then. And since middle school is all about planning when you're going to do things, and that's like the main key thing that I will take with me from middle school into high school. Um, and that's about the only thing you're going to need to know going, I mean, there's more little tips along the way depending on the school you go to, but if you keep these steps in mind, you should be on your way. Just keep organized, stay true to yourself, all that cliche stuff. So, um, I hope you have a good time in middle school for all those people going into middle school. And, um, wish me luck going into high school next year. I'll be in 8th grade this year and then next year I'll be a freshman. So, wish me luck. Thanks for watching and subscribe, comment, um, favorite, like. Bye.